Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ray here. And yes, I am indeed smiling. Back from the Transformers Transformation of Grief thing. Yeah, I'm always smiling. But um, I got Rodimus. Rodimus Prime, he's mine. He's on his way. I'm off to Hingland on Monday for Monday or two weeks, so he should arrive there. So hopefully he'll arrive there when I'm there. Hmm? That's a lot of theirs. And I'll review him while I'm there. There. Uh, so... An interesting little mould tonight. When did I first come across this mould? Now, I want to tell you. It's, you know what I do now and again? I go into TF Archive. I, I, I like that site. Because it, is, it has a nice, comprehensive, user-friendly list of bots. You know, and things that I may or may not have. And I like to look at other people's reviews of things that I have. And quite often, I don't agree with them. For example, a lot of people think that Armada Scavenger is shit. I think he's absolutely fantastic. I love him. And I'm buying a new one at the minute because the rubber in mine has just broke recently, which is a pain in the cornholio. So I'm going to get another one of those, boxed and everything, because you can get them for 23 pence. I don't know why you fuckers don't want them, but he's absolutely lovely. So I'm going to go on the TF Archive now and again, and I tend to go for the Hasbro releases of things. Um, and it's the, the kind of Japanese exclusive stuff, a lot of the Beast Wars 2 stuff, and the Beast Wars Neo. Ah, you know, I just find if the aesthetic is a little too um, Power Rangery, or if it's if it feels too much like a shell format, I kind of start to lose interest. Start to lose interest. I lose interest quite quickly, actually. So I was browsing, and I was browsing Beast Machines, which is very small toy continuity, and it was Battle Unicorn. I can't, I can't remember where I got them. I don't think it was the assembly. Um, no, it wasn't the assembly. What is them thing I'm looking for? I'm looking for this. That's the one. So, I'll let them give a bit of BG in this guy. Now, I'm going to show you two molds. Two molds of the same. No, two versions of the same mold. So, it's Battle Unicorn from Beast Machines and Magnus Stampede from Universe. I know. Oh, did I just close the other freaking thing? One second here. Bear with me here. I might need just uh <laughs> So it's been a grand day today. Interesting problems. Um so yes, I uh, I've been looking at some reviews of I tend to do that when I get a bot. I've been looking at reviews of Prime, that is Rodimus. And he does look great. He just he just does. He's look he looks fantastic. And I would rather get the um I think I would rather get the Takara version. Then when it comes to Toys R Us and Hasbro, well, uh, that, that, that that looks fine, but I'll be a little concerned about the quality of the plastic at that point. And it seems to come with more bells and whistles, and that lovely box, that lovely box in the Takara box. Battle Unicorn Warrior Subgroup Beast Machine Basic Beast. What he says is, what the enemy does not see can definitely hurt them. So he's a covert operator, presumably, with a, a moniker like that. It's a unicorn. It's a proper unicorn. The only unicorn I can think of. Well, the only version, the only mold of a unicorn I can think of. At first, Vicons thought Battle Unicorn would be an easy target, but, 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 they undermined and they, 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 they thought less of him. Then they had to fight him. Underneath his striking armoured facade is an extremely powerful warrior. Hooves are silent on any terrain. Silent hooves. Sounds like a very interesting Native American. Call me Silent Hooves. But stomping causes seismic disturbances that scramble vehicle receptors. They're not nice. It's a handy thing to have. Armored horn can penetrate. Most metals and alloys with destructive results. Why not? Scale with battle axe. He's got a fantastic freaking axe, this guy. And it will cause vehicles to scatter the second he converts. In both modes, special armor plating makes battle unicorn invisible. This is it. This is why. So he's kind of a Mirage-y thing. He could have been called Mirage. This is the thing. I would have liked that. But there was a Mirage, I believe, in the Beast Machines line. And it was one of the Vehicons he called the Mirage. Well, of course, it made sense because all the other bot sparks got created to these these evil Vehicons. I'm no one BG here. What's wrong with it? Um, so it would have been nice if that had called the Mirage. Battle Unicorn's fine, but it's kind of it's more descriptive than anything else. Mirage would have been sweet. Uniquely able to teleport with 500 foot radius, certain vehicle generals still doubt he really exists. Wow, spooky. 
Now let me see me so I can show you. There we go. There's his little um spark maximal spark crystal straight away. And he is a unicorn. And if you've seen looking at this for the first time, you're thinking, as I did, he's tidy. Jesus, he's tidy. Just there's no kibble. There's not an awful lot to give him away. Head in there, but that's okay. Tail will move. He has a gimmick, which is really unremarkable. Now his head has a little bit of movement, as you can see there. Uh, the little gimmick is you, when you turn that, that, that happens. You know, it, it, it'll just lower his head a little bit. And that's, that's it, you know. <laughs> you know, the thing is, in terms of when you come to play with the guy, you know, if you were a kid or if you're an adult who likes to play, I like to play with my toys, I just want them. But I don't kind of separate them out and have them little, have little battles or anything like that. I mean, I'm not going to utilize this other than, you know, would you like a piece of cake, Battle Unicorn? Oh, yes, I love cake. Something like that. Very nice. Look at this transmetal stuff. Nice, nice transmetal stuff. His little horsey face there. Unicorn. A unicorn, ladies and gentlemen. Even unicorn tail. Look, lots of these translucent parts. And on his hooves. His silent hooves. And it, this is a kind of a clear thing going on here. You can see through a lot of these blue parts. Very, very nice. Really, really tidy. Now, let me show you what happened to this guy. Now I'll tell you what happens to this guy. Bits of him might just pop off. They just like to pop off. And that just seems to be the way. Usually these things here at some point are going to pop off. And if they don't, I'm going to be very surprised. And anybody who has a battle unicorn, you know, they pop off. What do you see this? Open them up here. You take this shit out. This will come into its form very, very soon. So you open this guy out. Ah, now, these sections here, this is where it's going to pop off, this is where it's going to pop off. So you rotate these, so this is the original position, and you rotate it to that position. Basically, what's going to happen is it's going to, <clears throat> it's going to hide the horn. You can give them a very rude mode, you know, you can. So we'll just dispense with the wood mode because it's a given that I'm going to point them out any time they're, they're there. If they're out there, Hasbro, I'm going to show them all. I'm going to show them and I'll let the world see them because they make me laugh. And hey, that's the most important thing. Now, this is nice. You see the little reverse um, horn there. No, no hoof. Now, it, it would have been enough for you just to turn the hoof around. But no, 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 no. He's got a whole other entire leg in there. That you stick in front of it like that. Look at this shit going on here. That's really cute. Whole other thing going on there. And look. So he's got these kind of Arabian night slippers all of a sudden from having one hoof. Now maybe he was going to have another mode at one stage with, I don't know, some silly little two-legged, four-legged thing. Now we're nearly there. What we're going to do... I'm going to flip these little bad boys back. That's their, oh, those are his hooves, of course. And they reveal rather small arms. I'm trying not to make this. This will be the first time these fucking shoulder pads haven't fallen off. You just take these little hoof sections to the rear. And at which point you hope for the best. I'll tell you what, it didn't do too badly there at all. Now, I have to say, nice bot. He, he looks a bit like a sentry. He does look a bit like... He, he he looks like he's on guard. He looks like he's ready for a bit of action. Not only that, but you take what was previously the inside, his spine, which encompassed his mane and his tail. Little bit of transformation there. Gets you this nice freaking battle axe. So battle unicorn indeed. Mirage would have been fine, Hasbro, you know. And he probably would have been a little more attractive because of that. But, having said that, he came right, I think he was right at towards the end of the Beast Machines line. So there weren't very many of them. Um, look at his face. This is very humanoid face, actually. Very, very nice. Now, I'll come back to him in a second. Because what I want to show you is... See, this is two reviews for the price of one. You know you know me. I'm, I'm, I'm good value. I'm good value like that. Then we have Magnus Stampede from the Universe line. I did get him at Auto Assembly. An Autobot, not a maximal from the universe portion of the Generation 1 continuity. He is one of a long line of sacred guardians to the High Council member of states. It is a role he takes very seriously, especially with the reappearance of the Decepticon on Techno-Organic Cybertron. 
He comes with a little stockade minicom, which is nice because it has it's a triple changer, a really nice triple changer. Where am I so I can show you? Um, because yeah, I'm pretty sure he's one of the. Oh no, stockade is the uh was the replay of the time core. That's right. But he does have a mini card. I have to check now and see what his mini card is called. Uh, blah 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 blah. Ah, he does have a mini card. It might be Prowl or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, th those nice mini cons have a plane or uh, you know an airborne mode, a bot mode, and a uh, a weapon mode, which is really cute. So I'm going to show you a little Magnus Stampy. Very different colors. It's white, gold, black. You see his little gold ass there. Look, he's gold on his ass. This fucker. Which is nice. Um, doesn't have any see-through parts. Doesn't have any um chrome. Although this is, you know, I'm calling it gold. Very different face. Very different aspect. Everything looks really quite different. And again, you've got this. Yes. Um, do you take this battle unicorn to be your lovely wedded husband? Yes, I do. So he's obviously the brushing, brushing, the brushing blade. There you go. Match made in heaven. Sorry, I'll shut up. Autobot logo. In case you were in under any doubt at all. So we open up his tail. I'm just going to show you this. The two guys stood together because they look nice together. Because they do also look different. The different color scheme. The face is exactly the same. The paint apps on the actual unicorn are really different. It doesn't make them look hugely different. But because but because the uh, mold uh, is really... Um, it's it's really iconic and it's it's really quite unique anyway. It makes it even more desirable that uh, the, that this repaint, which is really successful. Now this is where shut starts to fall off. God still wants to fall off. Behave. Oh, I've got away with it. You see, he's gone on gone on the red bits, replaced with gold, not the gold plastic of. Of infamacy, absolutely not. That not that kind of gold plastic, mercifully, because um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I I want Shockerack. It was either run him as Prime or Shockerack, and I am going to get Shockerack. But I thought I I, I want to play with my next bot. I want to play with my next big purchase, and uh, Shockerack has that that kind of gold plastic again. Take his spine with his mane and his tail, and you just transform it a little bit like that. Put it into his hand. Now, what do you see? These guys look together. They look absolutely fantastic. It's almost like, it's almost like bride and groom. They they really are. There's something really fantastic about him. So he's white and he's got the paint apps are black and kind of a teal color. And he's still got these odd little slippers. You know, he's almost got four little legs at the bottom, which is so cute that you know <laughs> makes him look like he's standing backwards and forwards at the same time. He could go in any direction. You can see this, uh, the paint apps on his face are a little bit different. Still very, very nice, very handsome face. Very, um, yeah, quite, quite humanoid. There they are together. Nice little bots. I mean, uh, more than nice little bots. Really, really desirable little bots. Just because they are among the various continuities that you, you, you find them in. They are some of the most rare. Certainly this guy in Beast Machines anyway. Not an awful lot of this guy about would recommend them and hey they 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 are um unicorns the only unicorn i can think of unless there's one in one of the japanese lines that i don't know about i know there's a horse that's a piece of work but um i can't think of any other unicorns you know prove me wrong let me know ladies and gentlemen looking forward to um mm, rodimus prime i shall definitely review that i absolutely shall kind regards i shall see you all again very soon Please.